Hello everyone! In this video we will apply the GNN explainer to a Twitch streamer graph dataset. In the previous video, which is linked below, I gave an introduction to explainable AI for GNNs and now it's time to apply the learnings to a real model. All of the code is available in a Google Colab notebook, which is also listed in the description. First I want to give you a quick introduction to the dataset. The dataset is a Twitch network with different streamers that have various streaming habits. Some of them are gaming streamers, others simply chat or share their favorite music. Edges in the network represent mutual connections between streamers and this simply means that two streamers are friends on Twitch. For each of them we additionally know some further properties such as at what time they usually stream, which types of games they play and also where they are located. For Easy Gaming 24 this could look like this for example. So he usually plays at night and mainly does shooter games. In the dataset this information has already been processed and instead of these features we have some embeddings that contain the information in a higher dimension. Let's say now the gaming streamers tend to swear during their streams and that's why they are labeled as creators with explicit language. That's basically our dataset. With this information we can finally predict which users also swear based on the friendships. Because casual guy 2021 has only swearing gamers as friends, it's very likely that he also uses explicit language in his streams. Of course this is highly abstracted and also depends on many other factors, but generally there are some patterns in this network that allow to do such predictions. What we can do with the GNN explainer now is to find out which nodes were responsible for predicting if a streamer is assumed to use explicit language. In the example of the casual guy 2021, the explanation would be that only these remaining nodes contributed to the prediction. Furthermore, if we would have regular node features, we could additionally identify which specific games supported this decision. So overall, a useful tool in this context and now let's go to the Google Colab notebook and see how this can be done in PyTorch Geometric. The first step is to install PyTorch Geometric. We will use it for two reasons. First of all, we will build the model with it. And secondly, we need an implementation of the GNN explainer, which comes as well with PyTorch Geometric. Of course, there are also other libraries you can use, but I think it's quite convenient to use GNN explainer that comes with PyTorch Geometric. And, um, here is the installation of it, so these couple of pip installs install Torch Geometric and in the end I call this clear output, so make sure that all of this works fine because in the end uh, it will be cleaned, all of the logs, so that we have a clean notebook here. After that is done, the next step is to get the data set and in this case we also get it from Torch Geometric, so there's a set of pre-installed data sets and this Twitch data set is also part of it. If you want to find out more information about the dataset, have a look at this link. So this is the Twitch streamer network and it was collected in May 2018 and there are different networks like for English speaking streamers but also Germans, Spanish, Russian and so on. And in this case I download only the English speaking one. And as you can see it's downloading the dataset, pre-processing it and in the end we when we print this single graph we see that we have 7000 streamers and all of them have node feature vectors of size 128 and we have also Y, so we have the labels for each of these streamers. So when we have a closer look at the node features, we see that these are the embeddings and these embeddings include the games the streamers played, the games they liked, the location of the streamer and also their streaming habits. And this is somehow embedded but there is no further information how this was done. Then we have the targets which are simply 0 or 1 and 1 stands for the streamer uses explicit language and 0 for not. And we can also have a look at the distribution of the target. So it's slightly imbalanced but I would say overall it's more or less equal. So among these 7000 streamers around 4000 use explicit language and 3000 don't use explicit language. In order to apply the GNN explainer we of course need a model and in this case it's a really simple model. We have just two graph convolutional layers, in this case I chose the graph attention convolution 
and in the end I apply an additional linear transformation. And that's the full model. So in this summary you can see we have 33,000 parameters and we start with these node embeddings of size 128 which again are converted into embeddings of size 128. We have just one attention hat and the output is one single value. To be honest with you I didn't invest any time into model tuning and that's why this model is not very good. It's just to showcase how the GNN explainer can be applied on a model and a data set. In order to evaluate this model during the training, we of course need a test and train split. And this is not available yet in this Twitch network. So I created a very simple split. I just said the first 4000 nodes are train nodes and the rest are simply test nodes. If you want more advanced splits, you can check out the random node split in PyTorch Geometric which allows you to do a proper test train split. Eventually this gives us these two masks. So one of them says true for the first 4000 elements and the other one for the remaining ones. Then the next step is to perform the training. In this case we train the model with the full graph. So we have a batch size of one. We always send the full Twitch network through the model and then update the weights. If you have larger graphs, like very huge networks, it's also possible to train in batches. And for this you can use the neighbor sampler. All of this setup is transductive, which means all nodes are used during the training. So the model has already seen all of the node embeddings. And if you don't want that, so if you want to train inductively, you can try out GraphSage, which allows you to infer on unseen nodes. Alright, so in this code I first sent the model and the data set to the GPU and then I define the loss function and the optimizer. The loss function is the binary cross entropy loss but with logits. That simply means that a sigmoid layer is applied inside of this loss function and therefore I don't have to do that manually in the end of my network. And secondly I define a simple atom optimizer with a relatively small learning rate. Then I have those two functions, one for training, one for testing. Here I simply send the graph through the model, get the outputs of the model and then calculate the loss and backpropagate it in the train function and in the test function we just want to get the test loss. So I run that for 800 epochs and as you can see the test loss starts to decrease and the train loss as well and in the end we get a ROC of 0.57 which is of course not very good but uh, as I said I didn't invest time into model tuning here. We can also further investigate the predictions so here we can see what the model predicted and that's the ground truth so some of the predictions match but you can see the certainty of the model is not very high so it's always predicting more or less around 0.5 which means that it's not very sure about the prediction. And now the interesting part begins, now we want to explain the predictions. For that we can use the GNN explainer which is part of Torch Geometric. We can instantiate it like that, so we pass it the model, how many epochs we want to optimize the GNN explainer and finally what return type we want to give it. The number of epochs defines how many optimization steps the GNN explainer will perform. As you might remember from last video, the GNN explainer is optimized using backpropagation and that's why we also train in several epochs here. The GNN explainer allows you to explain individual nodes but also a set of nodes. In this case we will explain the node with the index 7. So why did the model predict a certain value for this node? To do so we can call explainer.explainNode. There exists also a function to explain a whole graph but we will not use it in this video. So you pass in the node index, the graph with the node features and also the adjacency information of the graph. And this function then will optimize the GNN explainer for 200 epochs and in the end you end up with two return values. One is the node feature mask and the other one is the edge mask. Before we further investigate those two masks Let's first have a look at what node 7 actually is. So this is the node feature vector or the node embeddings of node 7 and we can see that the node label in the ground truth is 0 
and the prediction is also zero. So our model predicts the correct value. And this means node 7 is a streamer that doesn't use explicit language. And now the question is, why does our model think so? And luckily there's also a function to create visualizations of those two masks. And for this we can call visualize subgraph on the explainer object. And this visualize subgraph expects a node index, the adjacency information, this calculated edge mask, and optionally, we can also pass in the node labels. And in the end, when we visualize this, we can see something like that. So here's the node with the index 7. We can see that all of the pink nodes here are actually also nodes with the same label. So that's why we passed in this Y here. All of these nodes are actually streamers that also don't use explicit language. And based on that, the prediction is why this node also uses no explicit language. Of course the model is not very good and that's why also some other nodes are here, but generally this explanation would tell you because of that and that and that streamer, this specific streamer will also use or not use explicit language. So that's pretty much all about the GNN explainer in PyTorch Geometric. If you want to find out more about it, have a look at this documentation. For example, there's also a method to explain graphs. So not just individual nodes. And overall I think it's a great method to generate some transparency behind your model predictions. And as you can see here it shows you quite nicely why the model outputs certain values. Of course it's just one possible method and I think it's the only one at the moment that is implemented in Torch Geometric. Otherwise you could also use other libraries as I've mentioned in the last video. And with that, I wish you a nice day and thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video.